<laughs> so, thank you for coming. This is our second ever uh, second ever public performance of this show. Uh, tomorrow is our opening. Uh, Lon here is the director of the show. Uh, so who y'all are. Monty directed the show. Clay there was the producer. I did the literary managing, uh, and of course, and that's there wrote the play tonight. Yay! So yeah, I guess uh, one thing we we would like to ask people is like, the co it's a new format and it's a complicated thing. So based on what you knew about the show coming in, was it like what you expected, or was it totally different? Um, Right in, in terms of what actually happened during the show, we're, we're sort of thinking about the logistics of the, the interview and all that stuff. So, um, let's see. Raise your hand if you were like, "That was pretty much what I thought it was." And raise your hand if you were like, "Things happened," and I was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> That's good to know. Um, uh, so it was easy. Yeah. Yeah. I would certainly be in between those two. I don't know what to expect. Right. I just came because I support the man and whatever she does. And so I, you know, it, but it was great. It was a very interesting, uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of improv, mm -hmm. you know, and this was a very interesting way to take it. <laughs> and, you know, then, because for one thing, you don't have all the same rules that you do with regular improv. So it's, uh, well, I don't know. Do you all know Bobby Wineapple at all? Big, big, big. Oh, well, anyway. He yes. <laughs> and he does improv with people kind of like this. He gives them a scene and they play a certain type of character, but they then they go with. Anyway, I found yeah. it very interesting and fun. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you could tell, you know, just in, in terms of playing with the script, I mean, you knew at a certain point where Annette drops you off and right. where you pick it up. But it wasn't until at, at the break that you actually looked at the script. Oh, yeah. How, how much of it you left to your imagination? Because there was a point where, where you were dropping it, you know, you were the dog and you're off, the script's off over there, and the script's off another point. And it was, there's, there's this twist. Mm -hmm. Just going to be so. What's going to happen? And it's literally in the script. It's end dot dot dot. Like, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, they took it over a lot earlier than I thought. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, it's, it's just set up in a lot of yeah. the premise. I mean, other than the rapture premise, there was a lot of other things that were still to be revealed mm -hmm. or be developed. Yeah. Who yeah. so, so, looked at the up. script in, at intermission? Did anybody? Mm -hmm. You guys. I I thought. Sitting, yeah. No. I, 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 I was no. I put them there so people could look at them if they wanted to. I put them there so people could look at them if they wanted to, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the premise she yeah. gave us was the rapture, and the premise that this show was kind of based on was three days of back on Earth, and that was kind of our choice that just sort of happened sort of organically throughout the Actually, so tonight I didn't even realize that we were off the script. Myself, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I whispered to Monty, I was like, I think I'm missing a page. <laughs>
So I was thinking, well, at the end of each script, the scene will be over, and then we'll go away and put them down. But no, <laughs> that's not how any of them we've done so far has been. So does it seem like, audience, you would prefer to have, like, script, script, script? No, they're gone. So it's really no. obvious? Or do you want the, no. the opposite? They have a lot of uh, pitching. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're like, yes, throw them away right away. Raise your hand if you're like, no, fool us. Good to know. Is there something in between? Well, we do put them down. So what I'm wondering is, you know, I mean, I had the same response as you did, which is to say that, you know, I was both delighted and also kind of, wait, wait a second, which was amazing. All in was beautiful, amazing. And you for providing a script that can smoothly flow off of uh, is there some, but I did find myself wondering the same thing. Is there some way for you to somehow, it's part of the fun for us also, is knowing that you're now off the rails running in your own direction across that map. So, you know, it can't, you mean, maybe some you, you know, put it kind of went over and pitched yeah, your script. Yeah, you pitch your script yeah. and you put it behind your back, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you know, really for me, we've done a number of these um, in the dress rehearsals and, and last night, and, and it, a lot of it depends on the script that you have. I mean, a script like this, there's so many characters, and, and I stopped talking. Uh, before the scene was over, so I didn't need it anymore. Yeah. I mean, if you have a two-person scene, and that would be much more clear. It has been more clear in the past. This is, I think, probably the least clear it's been. So I think it's, every night is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Right? Fluffy had no lines from last page and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, something like that? You used it more. That's when you were off. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's clear. I think it's really clear. Can we print the rest of them on flash paper and go <laughs> 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 Well, I'm, I'm noticing the improvisers in the audience really want to see the scripts go <laughs> 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 Is there any non-improvisers in the audience who can Well, that's what I've kind of, I'm not, but my, but my, a lot of my friends and family are yeah. in the theater. I, I mean, I have learned to appreciate it just by, so I kind of, I'm not even <laughs> being able to articulate this, but... As someone that's not trained in it, or yeah. it's like, it kind of depends on your audience. I right. think you're going to get a yes or no. Right. I think it's going to depend on who comes to see you. I, did, I prefer just more uh, in your face kind of classic mainstream, so I'm not trained, but I can right. appreciate where someone is, understands right. what you're doing, it's more experimental than this. Um, but it was entertaining. I mean, I liked it just because I understand the process. Well, I think I understand. You know, I can understand. The fun that you're having with it, and that it's different for you guys, and different for maybe people that see a lot of it from. Um, but for someone that doesn't, and just is more kind of thick in the head about it, right. it might be a little uh, 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 new and different. So, but it's fun. As, as a playwright, I was glad you guys actually had read it so that when your delivery was all great, you were already creating the characters, as I sort of imagine that much, much more. So, I think I was glad because I was afraid if you guys just picked it up, there would have been a lot of stumbling and there was that impossible part we had to cut each other off. and it was, I, They were stumbling backstage during the blackout when I couldn't see what I was supposed to do. I'm standing right behind the curtain. I know. Holding, I was a holding the script to the light. Right. Oh, I should have left three lines ago. <laughs> <laughs> so she, so she, she came during uh, one of our dress rehearsals for the show, and then we were practicing not seeing the scripts until the start of the show. Uh, and so uh, we've been sort of playing with when do we get to see the scripts. And today we got to see the scripts sort of when uh, we let in the house, yeah, or half an hour beforehand. So we got a chance to sort of read over the lines. But you didn't if you want, it all. some of us yeah, didn't, didn't pick it up until five, you know, until five. Yeah, Greg did, did, Greg did, Greg Cold Red. Yeah, I yeah. prefer that. You know, honestly, I think if I were to have looked at the script beforehand. Mm -hmm. It would have made me anxious and nervous. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. I, so I looked at the script purely for the function of I know I've been cast as two different characters and I have to go backstage and plan some sort of costume identification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my half hour before the show started, look at the script was okay, eight year old boy, boyfriend. So I have to go preset a hat and a toy, and <laughs> then that was it. And so I think what we were sort of choosing is like what works best for individual actors, yeah. and then we don't talk to each other about what it is that our own personal process is. I really like seeing you guys in your own little worlds before the show, reading over tonight's show, and kind of, kind of seemed like you were preparing for the show. Not in a preparing in an improv way, but like, you know, like, yeah, this is the moment you have now that the audience is here, we can all get ready together. Yeah, just because we're improvising doesn't mean that we shouldn't treat the scripts as if they're scripts and do them as well as we can for those first like a few normal moments. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'll love the line 
lines of the sort of preparation process, um, um, I want to ask about the interview in a way that's not like, did you think it was a <laughs> <laughs> Was it, was that, it was well, very easy, but, but I mean, you know, because it's like, a, was that, was it, did Relative? you guys feel like you got enough information? Did you want more information? Did you want less information? Um, comments? I, yeah. I think it was the right amount of information, because honestly, you really, you don't want to start guessing too much. Ahead of time, um, I always like going to something whenever it's like or anything like that. You know, and you don't want to know too much about it because it really ruins it for you. Think, okay, I would do it this way. I would do it that way. That's you know, I would have done this here, that there. You don't think about that ahead of time. As we were sitting here, I, I turned around and I'm like, I think this is the picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's a test rapture, and I'm like, it, it blew me away and everything else. And so, from going to the scripts, and it was just, it was super funny, and you didn't get any of that from the from the interview beforehand, which which yeah. really helped. So you had no idea, and then later you're like, oh my god, this is so funny. And then the pastor said no, and Jezebel, and he like starts crying, and it's like, hey, I wonder if we're gonna laugh in this scene. Nope, we're not. Okay. <laughs> That was kind of one of the redeeming, it brings it back, and like, you know, this, it was um, something that was thought of ahead of time, you know, by a playwright, and then you guys adapted onto it, and you still, it showed that you kept true to it, you know, you didn't just mm -hmm. kind of go, oh man, this is just going to be hilarious and great, yeah. it's a, you know, it's rapture, it's super funny, but it, it had real feelings, so it brought it back, and it was, I mean, yeah, it yeah. filled in with the information that you were given to start with. So. I missed yeah, the description of the second scene. <laughs> so I didn't realize we were having it until about two minutes after I was on stage. <laughs> but that's, that's good to hear because that's, that's like exactly our goal is to do a play that she might have liked to have written. <laughs> if not the very same play. Well, you you know. It really succeeded. I mean, I'm glad we had the interview because, mm -hmm. I, but I was very conscious of what I didn't want to reveal. But, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was so emotionally sad. It was like, the ultimate yeah. fantasy of getting these, I felt like the supreme. Because <laughs> 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 I put you guys in emotion and you had free will, and you know, oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. it resolved in a way that I really liked. And I think if I hadn't, if you guys hadn't asked some of the questions, then it might have gone into something really dark, or it might have, you know, at the end I was like, you know, Ellen can see me, like, no, no, don't let them go. Don't yeah, let them go. I'm yeah. so glad, yeah, you, yeah. Christian, that you'd like yeah. Yeah. kept yeah. them yeah. down. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what yeah. I would have yeah. wanted, I think. Yeah. Yeah. but I hadn't thought it through at all. So. Yeah. Yeah. And was that ending thought out at that time? No, was I was kind out? of choosing Just what the ending was as we were doing it. I had no idea what that was. I figured we probably weren't going. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah. And had yeah. 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 you offered to, to send us, uh, yeah. Yeah. Adam and Eve were going to choose to stay, to yeah. stay behind. So Joy and I had been discussing just moments before that scene started, like, I want to keep us here pregnant on Earth. Again, where it's Adam and Eve start everything all over again. Yeah, that happened yeah, yeah. too, and that might have worked, but I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. yeah, and the scene we had right before the, mm -hmm. the end was like, I mean, that was a scene between those characters, but it was also oh, us as improvisers in sure. negotiating. Sure. 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 Characters that, that you set up were just amazing gifts. Brilliant. Amazing yeah. gifts. Brilliant characters to set up. And like, cause you know that these, there's people out there that are like in this position right now. Right. Like broken families. And like, mm -hmm. it's really, I thought it was really compelling. That's another thing, too, is like uh, watching this, I just began to like really attach to some of, actually, if not, if not all the characters, because they were played so well and I felt that this was very seamless. Because after a while, I was like, wait a minute, where the, where the hell is the script going to be? <laughs> <laughs> I'd see it after, but it was so seamless and it was done so well. Like, it was just right, at least for me, I could say on my own. But it was just exactly right for each and every character, for me to get to know each one. And to, it, even the whole thing, it, actually, I agree with this person here about the whole, oh, it's the rapture. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and for me, I was like, oh, God, it was just great. You know, it was 
it went from you know from extremely funny to it went down to like a you know real like human moment, and I love the whole thing so.
Um, intermediate improv is sort of how to do that while thinking at the same time. Uh, and then uh, a sort of advanced improv is, okay, now you can do that. Uh, what would you like to make? You study, study until it flows. Yeah. yeah. And, you and can it's really a different amount of time practice. for different people. Yeah. Learning and, all the rules until you're good enough to throw them all. Yeah. 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 Uh, really, there's, there's nothing wrong you could do on stage, just inappropriate timing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you were going to pull the social work card when you came into the scene? Yes, I did. Yeah. Did you know? She no. 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 <laughs> I, I told, all, all I told them was that I, I wanted know. to go and do it. Yeah. That was genius time back in the beginning of the yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remembered that, uh, and that's why, I want, that's why I wanted to do that. I forgot that, too. Me? I forgot that you were It did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. How about you? Good all job. job. All Joy did was come to me and say, I need you to be the kid. And I was sent out onto that stage being told, you're the kid. So she knew in her back pocket that she was yeah. going to defax me, and uh, I just had to be there. I, Greg, I loved your choice in that scene, to yeah. leave. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, that was, yeah. It was it, that, there was a little bit of tension about like who's going to walk out the door, and are you going to fight, and, and you leaving really made that scene feel so good. Yeah. It was a really good call. Yeah, yeah, I was glad they did that because it, it seemed like the thing you might expect is that, okay, he changes, he becomes a better person, but I think it works much better that he's still in this hell. Yeah, well, yeah, and because and we're, we're kind of each telling our own character's story along with the other yeah. ones, and there are characters who don't change. You know, their, yeah. their arc is to remain the same. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Any more questions? Does anybody, anybody else have any questions? I think it's a testament to the power of the story, though, that I think everybody was rooting for you to change. Yeah. Mm. I was rooting for you to change. <laughs> <laughs> I, when, when Reverend Bob started talking about, oh, I was so wrong, and yeah. I thought, oh my God, it's going to get maudlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thought, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I, I don't want to get maudlin. <laughs> so I was. <laughs> I think this is the first improv show I've ever seen that actually felt like a play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the like yeah. very first one. Like, I've, I've seen plenty of shows I've enjoyed, but this is the first one that actually felt like a play, which is probably why I was like, you need to put your scripts down. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the other thing I really liked, getting back to what she was just saying, where the, the very strong emotional ups and downs that I really enjoyed, like, when the Reverend was very sad and then there was this tense, hot makeout. Yeah. And then, yeah. or, like, when, like, there is this, this, this other <laughs> tense pseudo-argument between your couple that suddenly becomes, like, you and your breaking point forever and ever. So, like, no, it was, a, but, like, they didn't seem like, I am facing this yet for you now, audience. It really felt like it was very organic. So, since you guys have all come to our talk back, right. we have, we, you get to come back to any one of our future shows for uh, Hi. Hi. Christ. Woo hoo! Um, in, this in this run. Fluffy. In this run. Fluffy. It's gotta be fluffy. Or rough. White fluffy. 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 So you, 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 if you enter that as a, uh, as a, as a coupon code, when you go to our website on Bandini, you'll get half price your ticket if you'd like to come. Or if you come to the door and go, okay. <laughs> So thank you all again for coming out tonight. This is, uh, again, our second preview. We open tomorrow. Um, oh, review us online. Review us online. Uh, you can go to, is it review? Review.unscripted.com, and that will point you in the right direction. Is this a music you thing? Is the people writing the Yeah, yes, the first time we've ever done it. Yay!